Ladies and gentlemen, today's in-depth review is of the Star Wars Force Awakens Disney Store exclusive race lightsaber. Let's do this. Start off with the packaging. Packaging is supposed to sell you the product. This does. The lightsaber is enclosed in the box, and on the bottom you can test out the hilt slash handle. And uh, we're going to test it out right now. So two things, the speaker is right there in the bottom, and the second thing is it's the same exact sounds as the Darth Vader one that they have, and we're going to demo that one later. Here you have a tab for the top, they put on the little low hanging shelves, Star Wars logo, they just threw up Disney Store from the new film The Force Awakens. Here's your blue tube right here, it says dueling lightsaber effect. Lights and sounds, multilingual, right over here. Battle Clash Rumble feature, Star Wars logo, Ray's lightsaber, even though this is Luke Skywalker's. Picture of Kylo Ren, even though they could have put a picture of Ray or somebody. There's a Try Me sticker, and there's the button to fire it on. I will say this, uh, right out of the gate, this button seems a little more sturdier than the Darth Vader one. I'm going to turn on it off right now, so I don't want it to fire on. Of course I turn it on instead of off, it's all the way up. But... It's not sticking like the Darth Vader one does. I noticed that after a couple days, it starts sticking there at the bottom here. And this one seems pretty good, so that's good. And I really like this hilt. It's actually really nice construction. It seems really sturdy, unlike uh, possibly Kyle Ren Vader's could go out after time. At the bottom here, you have your rubber grips. Feels great, unlike the 2-in-1 Anakin Skywalker one that had plastic and it was horrible. And right down there is a button. Off is all the way up, try me in the middle, and at the bottom is the on with the speaker I already showed you. So the back, this is pre-retained for future reference. You don't need that. You know what this is. There's the battery cover, a bunch of logos and stuff. It says requires three AA batteries, which are included. It says warning, choking hazard. 30 buck price tag. Bam. Pretty good deal. Dueling lightsaber effect, engage blade for battle clash with rumble feature which is a big reason to buy these guys. Motion, sensory controlled sound effects, big picture of Kylo Ren, and then it ends. Removed the books. And this guy looks pretty cool. Here's the hilt. You have a bunch of red, red, and it looks like this is the part where it goes on your uh, belt. You hoister it. You can see right here the design. It's actually really cool. You have your detailing here, here, and here besides the trademark area one two three screw holes one is for the battery cover a screw hole there down at the bottom uh, i really like this saber it's not too bad i can see people holding it like this and yes this has the dreaded loose blade only because of the rumble feature here's the detailing right here this ribbed textured tile design and uh, you do see the line there for the battery cover, but this battery cover is really sturdy. It's really in there. I'm squeezing it. Unlike the Hasbro 2-in-1 Anakin Skywalker, this one is not budging. This is really solid. I like this a lot. This is great. This little fake knob looks pretty cool, too. I do a little bit of a paint scratching there. But I can't really blame the Disney Store factories because uh, this was shipped horribly. I bought this online because it's not available in my local stores. Like All over California, it's available but not where I live. Last bit I want to say about the blue tube. It looks really good here on camera, but in person it's more of like a, a baby blue or like a royal blue. And it's also more like a creamy type blue rather than like the solid blue we know from the film. I guess right here it looks like what I'm talking about. It just doesn't look right, it looks a little off. But when you fire it on, it looks good. You can see that Real quick, I just showed you. You can see the ribs there. Thank God, it, it came on camera. For the other three lightsabers, it didn't, but they totally were there. And, uh, right here, you can see them, number one. Number two, you can also see the fire up and fire down feature that it has, which is actually really cool. So uh, let's go try it out. So this is the Luke Skywalker lightsaber. I'm just gonna call it Luke Skywalker sometimes, even though it's race. So here's the blue tube, fire it up. It looks really good when it's fired up. When you fire it down, the blue tube is just, I don't know, there's something off about the tube. I'll show you right here, the Vader one. It is the same exact fire up, same exact power down. Pretty close sound effect wise. 
Second one was the exact same. 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 I don't know why this one has some extras. Same. And the same exact sound effects from the Luke one to the Vader one here. You know, the Luke one is really nice. I think the construction, just power these off real quick. I think the construction for the Luke one is a little bit better than this one. I feel like I'm gripping it. it might be a little more loose, probably like right here in the middle of the battery pack compartment. Are these battery packs the same? Battery packs are the same exact length. Uh, the hilt, I guess, is pretty much nearly the same. Yeah, hilt's pretty much the exact same length. Uh, I find the Vader one probably easier to grip with one hand. I got big hands, you know, I'm a big person. But uh, I think kids would be okay with this small one. It just seems that this small one's got a smaller grip. It's pretty much the exact same. They are different. That's cool. So this is a pointed lightsaber here. And the ones for Vader here are more of a flat flush on the apex little mountain of the grip here. So that's kind of cool. And of course this is rubber so it's easier to grip. Or well, I should say it's a little bit more comfortable to grip. And uh, yeah, I would say you can hold this with two hands pretty comfortably. This has the same shake as this does, only because of that rumble feature I talked about in this one and the Kylo Ren one behind me. So how to activate the rumble. You just power it on, and when you clash with somebody, you hold it. This one even rumbles too, that's really cool. I don't think I did that before in these reviews. Do it. For 30 bucks, this is an incredible value of a lightsaber. I don't know if the camera's picking up on it. I think I actually, when I was over there, I showed you in the daylight that they had the rings. Really can't tell so much for this blue and the red you can. It's 30 bucks, you're gonna get these rings. I mean, you're gonna have to pay uh, at least 100, 150 bucks list price for a Force FX one to get rid of those rings. But for $30, this is a pretty incredible value. Really sturdy hilt, I would say, but... I think if you play like that, if you don't go any harder, I think you'd be alright. And you see how cool this is. Light side versus dark side. And then the best feature and the one that sold it for me. That goes on for a long time and it doesn't end. I'm actually very happy. Pretty much the same exact hums as well. And the same exact lightsaber movements. So I do want to talk about the movement, how accurate it is. So it's going to be pretty much just like the ultimate effects, like the Anakin 2 and one I reviewed, as well as the Disney Store ones. They're really not that, how should I say, responsive. Sometimes it'll pick up an extra swipe even though you didn't swipe at all. Like there's three swipes, four swipes now. I think it's just the angle I'm holding it at and it registers, so like. There's like some kind of, you know, sensor inside that registers if it's going from left to right, right to left, vice versa backwards, not a, and sometimes it just over registers. Like it even, if you notice that when I'm doing my Vader and Kylo Ren ones, sometimes just, you can swing the crap. There's a ladybug. They can bit me. All right, well, forget it. <laughs> Anywho, you hear the shaking for the rumble feature. Here's the black rubber ring that I figured out for the engineering, how they trigger the rumble feature if you do not like that which i don't but i will say this you know i really tore it apart on the kylo ren and the vader ones however this i mean yeah it's loose but they they grow on me because number one they're 30 dollars an incredible value these things be easily 50 to 60 bucks you know the ultimate effects ones are pretty much sold out everywhere not this one for $65, but I'm talking about like, you know, the Vader one and the Luke one. They even have a Luke one. But those were released a while ago. And, you know, lightsabers are selling pretty nicely this holiday season. The holiday season has passed, but these are still not in stock at stores. So, at Disney Store, 
However, for 30 bucks, Rumble feature, they have rubber grips for Vader and Luke, aka Ray. If you run out of batteries, they have a color tubing. They have power up and power down. All of its sounds, this is not included on the ultimate effects one where it goes from uh, top of the hilt to the top of the blade. The rumble feature is great. I think the hilts look great. The hilts are pretty sturdy. I really like these toys. For 30 bucks, it's an incredible value. The Disney Store has some great stuff, including uh, some talking dolls that I bought. I'm gonna have those reviews uh, coming up soon. But I think, you know, one kid likes Luke or Ray. <laughs> one kid likes Darth Vader. So you know, the great thing about this is it's Luke slash Rey. So you can have Rey versus Kylo Ren, or you can have Luke versus Vader. And I think that's just uh, excellent. I think it's great. So uh, out of 10, I probably rated these a little low at like a six or a seven, but I'm gonna give this one a seven. I can't really say it gets a love to see of approval. This is almost a 10 if it wasn't for the loose blade. But I know it's for the rumble feature, but $30 is an incredible value. Like I said, it's really hard finding these, so I ordered it online. If you order it from the Disney store, like I did, they're going to charge you an extra, at least $3, maybe six to $8. So uh, I'm gonna turn this off in the night and show you what it looks like and uh, swing around like a dumbass. So let's do this. I'm right, I'm Finn, I'm right. I got an idea for a skit now. You need a teacher. I can teach you the ways of the force. The force. I guess because I'm a big person, I think I figured out this, uh, whoa. <laughs> if you put your hand here, because you have a big hand, it's gonna cut in to the uh, hilt power on button right there. And it's gonna be a little hard to swing. It's gonna kind of cut into your hand because of the square cut out there at the bottom. So if you have smaller hands, this won't be too much of a problem. If you have bigger hands, it will. But I never really liked the blue lightsabers because I always root on the bad guys, so I always like the red. I always like Count Dooku, I like Darth Vader, I like everybody evil. I don't know why, but uh, this is a pretty cool lightsaber. If You gotta have it if you wanna have a Vader one or a Raider or a Ren one or whatever you have. Looks like I accidentally powered it off. But that's it, folks. Ray's Lightsaber Disney Store exclusive. 7 out of 10, $30. If you really like Luke Skywalker or Ray, or you want a blue one, this is an incredible value. Pick it up. May the force be with you. What should I say? What was that? That was Luke Skywalker's lightsaber calling you. I don't want part of it. It's an open box concept. The lightsaber is protected at the top there. I really like the Ultimate Effects one at Toys R Us, how it's encased in a huge box. Rather than the handle and the side guards being exposed, I do not like that. However, I do think this is better than the Ultimate Effects one available at Toys R Us. I think $65 used to be $60. This one's $30. It does pretty much the same exact thing. It only has one major flaw. Let's get into it. 